mafia was involved in, the IRS, and now we really have a target to take it down. So right now that wall is beginning to crumble, and we the people are going to take it down. And we're going to take down this cabal like, like the people of East Germany and the former Soviet Union took down the Soviet Union without firing a shot. That's what I believe. 800-922-6680. Uh, Donald Trump is being persecuted and prosecuted for nonsense. I've got some uh, details on that. This, my friends, is The Rob Carson Show. Are you tired of high cable TV rates? Sign up for Dish today and get a $500 bonus offer while supplies last. Plus, lock in your price for two years guaranteed. Call All American Dish, your dish authorized retailer now. 800 296 1251. 800 296 1251. That's 800 296 1251. Offers require credit qualification, 24 month commitment, early termination fee, and e auto pay. Restrictions apply. Call for details. There's a price war in the insurance business, and you may be paying too much. Call the Term Lifeline right now and see if you can save 40%. Half-million-dollar plans and up, that's our specialty, even great smokers' rates. Protect your family today. Call the Term Lifeline right now for a free quote. 866-549-TERM. 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 And suicide. For the ones who know safety isn't a catchphrase, it's a culture. And the ones who help make sure everyone makes it home safe. For the safety-minded who watch everyone's backs, Granger offers supplies and solutions for every industry, as well as safety assessments and training to keep your facilities safe and your people safer. Call, click Granger.com, or just stop by. Granger, for the ones who get it done. For the win. Mm, uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, a popular vacation destination in southern Italy. Quilici. <laughs> oh, sorry, contestant number two. It's up to you. Oh, absolutely. A common name for the endangered East African weaver bird. Quiliki. <laughs> no, contestant number three. Quilici. Why, of course. The name for gardening and landscape services in Santa Cruz County. <laughs> Hi, I'm Randy Quilici, owner of Quilici Gardening and Landscaping. It's true, Quilici may be a little hard to pronounce, but it's been a trusted name in the landscape industry since 1982. Call me at 425-5269. I'd love to personally show you some beautiful gardens and landscapes we've created and maintained, and just what we can do for you. And remember, it's Quilici, the name to know for gardening and landscaping services in Santa Cruz County. 425-5269 or at QuiliciGardening.com. Have you ever wanted to make a difference but didn't know where to start? Well, it's easier than you think. Volunteering is more important than ever, yet 66% of people think they can't make an impact. At Points of Light, we believe that you can make a difference every day. That's why we do our part to help you do yours. And volunteering is just the start. Making a difference is so much more, from helping a neighbor to voting to flexing your purchasing power. Visit pointsoflight.org slash civic circle today to learn more about turning your passion into action. Dissent is not disinformation. It's the Rob Carson Show. It is a Rob Carson Show. The number is 800 922 6680. I got a nice note from Bob in Lewis, Delaware, because we have a new affiliate in uh, Rehoboth, and I cannot wait to get back to Rehoboth, not because Joe Biden vacations there, but because I need me some grotto pizza and some Thrasher fries. Uh, this is it. I like Dan Bongino's show, and I listen to it occasionally, but I love Rob Carson's show and listen to it almost every day. There you go. So uh, that is from Bob. Bob, thank you, my friend. I will go ahead and have a, uh, I'll, I'll share a slice, or actually I won't share the slice, but I'll, I'll share a pie with you. The next time that I'm in uh, lovely Rehoboth, Rehoboth had a lot of great memories there. Uh, Rehoboth and uh, and uh, uh, Ocean City, and uh, I miss I miss greatly uh, that area. Uh, let's go to Craig in New Mexico, calling in on the Newsmax hotline. Craig, how you doing, my friend? What's up? 
I'm finding the frog here split in half, Rob. Um, I enjoy your show immensely. It's my go-to show in the morning while I'm doing my tours and whatnot. You made a comment, however. Most of the time I agree with you. Sometimes I don't, but that's expected. Yes. You said that the Americans are wise to this and they know what's going on. And I'll disagree with you. Now, okay. I'm, an Ameri I'm a retired Army officer and a retired police officer. And um, I live in one of the most liberal states in America. Our governor just signed in the law that uh, grade school age kids can get gender transition without notifying their parents, and the schools don't have to notify them. Yeah. Um, you pro I think you may have even mentioned that on your show. I know I did, actually, yeah. Yeah. So that's how liberal we are. And so I come in contact with a lot of liberals on a daily basis. I run a nonprofit that sort of leans more towards... I guess you'd call it a liberal mindset. So I get a chance to engage and chat with these people, and they don't see me as the enemy right away. <laughs> gotcha, gotcha. Um, but I talk to them, and they are clueless. They have no idea about FBI corruption, none yeah. whatsoever. They don't know anything about the Biden family you know, investigation. Yeah. They listen to MSNBC, CNN, NPR. The, everything they take in in our local paper, the Albuquerque Journal, Oh, I'm sorry, journal, um, is filtered through this extreme left-wing ideology. They are clearly in the echo chamber of far-left liberalism. Also, they're also in the minority, and I'll also say that the powers that be in, uh, in, uh, in the state of New Mexico are voting against the will of the American people. So they are winning right now. Uh, but they are not winning over public opinion. They are. They, they, yet there are always going to be those clueless people. There's nothing you're going to be able to do about them. You're just going to have to roll right past them. But 60% of the American people believe that the FBI was involved in covering crimes from Joe Biden. That means 40% don't know or don't care. And those are some of the people that you're talking about. Well, I agree with you on the corruption issue. I worked as a poll watcher in the last oh. election, yeah. and people would. Well, I'm not exaggerating. Joe Biden would say, this is a hyperbole, yeah. um, <laughs> along with things like, a unicorn pooped in my pants, no, no, it goes, <laughs> and otherwise insightful things that Joe said. But I'm working this polling place, and yes. people would literally walk in and say, I can't vote legally. I'm a convicted felon. I can't vote legally. I'm an illegal alien. And then they'd follow it up with, but can I vote anyway? Yeah. And yeah. they would come over and give them a provisional ballot, yeah. and I would call and say there's a violation here, and they would say don't worry about it. Yeah. So if you're right about the corruption, it's right here in the state. Yeah, man. Yeah. Craig, uh, all I can say is keep fighting the good fight wherever you are. There are some people you're never going to be able to convert, and we just need to say, you know what? Your arguments are so stupid and specious, I don't have time to debate you anymore. Bye bye. Uh, I have quoted Napoleon saying that uh, never interfere with an en enemy in the process of destroying itself. So don't do that. But if they do try to destroy the country, do everything you can to stop them. Let's take a break and come back. You are listening to The Rob Carson Show. of your home. It's easy to set up yourself, and now there's an even easier option. Have an expert do it for you with Simply Safe Pro Install. Always protecting, never a contract. Two easy installation options, backed by 24/7 professional monitoring for less than a dollar a day. Get 20% off any new system with interactive monitoring at simplysafe.com/radio. There's no safe like Simply Safe. Do you owe the IRS $10,000? taxes? Are you being audited or investigated? Has the IRS sent you a letter demanding payment? You may not owe what they claim. Make this free call to the tax doctor now. Let them negotiate with the IRS on your behalf. Call 800-631-9123. 800-631-9123. That's 800-631-9123. Satisfy your hunger with a fresh prepared twice daily crab and go sushi and fine wind. You can sushi market scrubs two blocks from the beach at 300 7th Avenue in Santa Cruz. Fresh, delicious, and oh, so good. Hello, I'm Junko, and I look forward to serving you at the sushi market scrubs. Jeff Robertson inviting you to join us for the next edition of TV Confidential. Sunday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. here on KSCL AM 1080 in Santa Cruz. And as always, we'll take you behind the scenes of your favorite TV shows and introduce you to some of the people who help create your favorite TV members. It's TV Confidential every Sunday morning from 6 a.m. to 8 a.m. on AM 1080 KSCO. Listen and be heard. That's what kind of family 
she wanted. She said, a family like yours. Learn more about adopting a teen at adoptuskids.org. You can't imagine the reward. Brought to you by the U.S. Department of Health and Human Services, Adopt US Kids, and the Ad Council. All right, more on the false prosecution of uh, uh, Donald Trump with regard to classified documents. Let's hope that doesn't uh, doesn't progress. And also another reason RFK could be the Democrat. This is KSCO Santa Cruz. to kscohealth.com. D252. Singapore has apologized to Malaysia after a comedian made a joke about the Malaysian airline that went missing nine years ago and was never found. The comedian Jocelyn Chia, who was born in Singapore, made what she intended to be humorous remarks about the missing airline at a stand-up show in New York. They were posted online and quickly led to a backlash in Malaysia. Singapore's foreign minister has now apologized, describing the comments as horrendous. The plane was on its way from Kuala Lumpur to Beijing and carrying nearly 240 people. Its fate remains a mystery. BBC correspondent Michael Bristow. The main suspect in the 2005 disappearance of U.S. student Natalie Holloway has been handed over to U.S. custody and has departed Peru on a flight to the United States. Joran Vandersloot's extradition is wanted in the U.S. on one count each of extortion and wire fraud. Breaking news and analysis at townhall.com. Hawaii's Kilauea volcano is erupting again. Located on Hawaii's Big Island, Kilauea is one of the most active volcanoes in the world. But it's been silent since March, till early Wednesday, when the U.S. Geological Survey says a glow was detected in webcam images from the summit caldera. 
They show fissures at the base of the crater generating lava flows on the crater floor's surface. The Hawaii Volcano Observatory says increased earthquake activity started Tuesday night, indicating the movement of magma in the subsurface. The activity is all within a closed area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park and not threatening any communities. I'm Ben Thomas. A replacement plane for an Air India flight diverted to Russia has left for San Francisco now, carrying all passengers and crew. The original plane had been forced to land in Siberia on Tuesday because of an engine problem. More on these stories at townhall.com. I'm John Scott. Hey, this is Grace Costa. I'm a singer-songwriter, and like many, I've been traumatized by years of bullying. You're ugly. You're stupid. You're gay. You're worthless. Bullying causes real harm and can result in severe long-term depression, anxiety, addiction, and even self-harm. I created the Black Box Project for anyone who has ever felt different for any reason. Go to theblackboxproject.org to help you take the first step to healing. You are not alone. Okay, men, time to be an all-star caregiver. Drive them to physical therapy. Doctors warn us. Be there emotionally and physically. Don't give up. Don't ever give up. Caregiving is tougher than tough. Find care guides at aarp.org slash caregiving. Brought to you by AARP and the Ad Council. Opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of KSCO staff, management, or advertisers. If something is said with which you disagree, please let us know by writing to us at comments at ksco.com. You are about to hear the most interesting, informative, thought-provoking, opinion-leading, and funny show in America, on air and on the World Wide Web. This is the Rob Carson Show. It is the Rob Carson Show, and the number, if you would like to chime in, is 800-922-6680. Newsmax is, uh, is rocking the ratings. And there's a reason for it. Just got a lot of really good content. Eric Bowling, Rob Schmidt. Uh, if you haven't, I mean, it's kind of interesting because uh, I started at Newsmax. Uh, I was contacted by the president of Newsmax, uh, Chris Ruddy. I was selling cars and I was doing a, a video podcast and audio podcast. And I, I, you know, done some things on my own, but I still had to sell cars. And he calls me at this car dealership, and I'm like. Uh, hello? Yeah, Rob, it's Chris Ruddy at Newsmax. I'm like, okay, what did I do? You guys doing an expose on car dealers? <laughs> and he goes, no, man, where you been? I mean, I'm watching your stuff here. It's pretty amazing. Where you been? I said, well, I've been in an abusive relationship with radio for about uh, 20 years. And he said, well, we want to have you on Newsmax. You're funny and you, you know, you got some great insights. I said, okay. And, and back then, it was about three years ago, uh, you know, there were some people who knew of Newsmax, but Newsmax has just, I mean, just gone insane, you know, with what happened with uh, Fox in the 2020 election and all of the things that we're finding out that were always, uh, you know, we were being told that was misinformation and disinformation, and we knew it was true, and people like Greg Kelly kept saying, no, no, this is actually true, while Fox went the wayside, while CNN went the wayside, towed the party line and all that, we had hosts on Newsmax, and we added to our lineup. We had people like Greta Van Susteren, and, and I'm going to tell you, Greta Van Susteren, I don't agree with a lot of her political opinions, but I'm going to tell you one thing. She is a journalist. She is a journalist, and she's doing a great job, and she's getting the names, and Rob Schmidt's getting the names, and Eric Bowling's getting the names, and Chris Plant and Greg Kelly. So uh, if you get a chance to, you'll understand why well, Newsmax is the fastest growing cable news channel. You'll understand why Newsmax is beating CNN. A lot of the times, and CNN has forced viewership everywhere. But uh, download the Newsmax app, and of course, they're on uh, most cable networks. And also, you can go to uh, 349 on Direct TV and do that. Oh, and this is funny because in Canada, you know, the, uh, the the country that's blowing smoke up our, you know what? Because of forest mismanagement and green energy nonsense, and uh, MSNBC saying it's climate change, but there aren't uh, forest fires happening in Cambodia and uh, 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 Wyoming and Georgia, so there's that. But anyway, in, in Canada, the BBC has demanded that all TV remote controls contain dedicated but buttons, just like the one for Netflix, that they want it for the BBC. 